Okay, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about this, the um, Moore, <laughs> Moore Ocean Machine. Uh, I want to talk quickly, briefly, about what I like about it, what I don't like. It's not too much I don't like. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I think it's totally worth it if you get it used. Um, it's a thoughtful uh ambient little machine um, even if you don't play ambient it's pretty cool it just depends on how you uh, set this sucker up so right now this is my bypassed signal <laughs> If I hit preset, it takes you to the current preset I'm on, and you just hit these switches to go back and forth, right? Pretty cool. If you hit both of these switches at the same time, it takes you into the looper mode, which is rather nice. The menu button adjusts the looper level. I don't usually like my looper coming back at the same volume as what I'm playing, so I try to keep it around 60-65%. All right, <clears throat> and one other thing to note, if you go out of preset and you see the individual paddles, what the menu button does, this button here, can you see that? Let's see. Let's tilt the camera a little. So, menu button, you press the menu button, and then it gets a little red highlight around as you scroll right to left. The menu button is also how you rearrange the routing. So here I have looper, delay B, reverb, and delay A. You can put the looper in the middle, you can put the looper at the end, you can have two delays. And the way you do that is so We'll do it with the looper. Um, I'm, I won't save it, so it won't ruin my preset. So you uh, have the looper highlighted with a little red ring around it by just scrolling. So the way you do that is you touch once with the menu, you get the highlight, you scroll. Then what you do is you press the menu and you start, as you keep pressing, the highlighted effect goes wherever you want. You can put them in any order. You can have two delays after your reverb. Okay, so that's about, <clears throat> that's a, a really cool option I like a lot. There are some submenus to some of the uh, delay and reverb settings. Uh, the one thing I don't like is there aren't enough uh, submenus on some of the weirder, oops, uh, on some of the weirder delay stuff. It only gives you like two extra submenus which means that whatever the sound that they've given you like in rainbow where there's pitch going on like uh, uh, earthquake or rainbow machine uh, you, you're kind of stuck you can change the rate and the depth of some things uh, but not uh, really deal with the effect too much at least not that i have found so far but um this is one pedal that you can do an awful lot on the surface and in this menu, um, but an app would be insane. Um, as far as I know, they don't have that yet. So enough jibba jabba. Let's do some playing. So again, in this mode, in preset mode, the, these two switches uh, go up and down in preset. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. So if we go into looper mode, this switch, the Delay B switch is half speed, and the A switch is reverse, and you can also have them both engaged at the same time. I think that's super duper cool, and come you can come up with some really great, you know, a lot of loopers, you can do one or the other on a switch, like the ditto and whatever. This one, you can, you can do both. It's really, really cool. So anyway, let's get out of this mode. And let's hear some stuff. All right, so this is, um, we'll go in order. I've only got like, oh yeah, 
this is a patch that was left on the machine from the guy before me. I'm not playing. But if I start playing, you'll hear how insane it gets. So these are all my presets. I think I've only got six from 1A, B, C to 2A, B, C. Um, I like a delay after my reverb. Um, and the reverb I like the most is the hall, although the distorted verb's cool. The plate sounds good to me. Um, I should mess some more with the filter because I generally like a filter verb. But OK, so here's the first one. <laughs> So, you know, just kind of like, like nice diffuse little thing. Nice long diffuse thing. Still going on. All right. B, this one I really like. They have this one cool, um, on delay A, there's, it's a fuzzy delay. They also have a bit crushed one. But the fuzzy one is on the repeats, comes back. And um, it's really cool. So again, uh, this is digital delay after the hall reverb and the fuzzy delay before. <laughs> gently uh, yeah so this is uh, involving the liquid delay which is kind of like um, a smeared washy kind of delay um, with again the digital and the hall so check this out <laughs> almost like a freeze kind of
nice little washi thing. All right, what do I got here? Um, ah, this is, so one of the um, delays is, a, it's not called a reverse, it's called a mod inversion, but it's really a, a, a reverse. And then, so I've got that <clears throat> uh, in the middle. Um, I think it's off. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so, well, we don't want to do that. Back, um, preset. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you'll hear it. And by getting out of preset mode, you can turn on or off all, you know, the, the switches individually because then you're in play mode. All right, let's see what else we got here. 2B, the invert. Oh, all right, and this one's that mod inverted delay with re reverse reverb. It's really insane. And I'm pretty sure the middle switch. No, are they on? Let's find out. Yeah. So that's with the the reverse uh, delay and the reverse reverb, pretty insane. Um, yeah, and this one is, um, so it's the hall with the digital delay after it and the reverse reverb off so I can turn it on when I want to. <laughs> And then So that's just a little quick, uh, little quick run through there of what you can do with this crazy device. Um, this is another patch that the guy behind me, uh, the guy before me must have done. same time um yeah so there's a ton of what you can do with this thing i i really so i like uh a lot of it 
I like the functionality. I like that I can change the, uh, the um, order of things. And I like that you can do most of it on the face of it with just turning some knobs and getting into the menu. I don't like that you can't, again, you can't get to some of the more extravagant uh, delay things. You can't really adjust as much as them, but maybe I'm just missing something. Um, I still think it would be better with an app of some sort, but it's pretty damn good. These are very minor quibbles. What I like about it, um, I mean, the fact that you can do reverse and half speed at the same time on two different switches and go back and forth with the looper is really cool. Um, the looper volume, though, is not global. Like when you power down, if you've adjusted it, it's going to go back to 100%. So that's something to uh, be aware of. All the knobs up here, everything does affect whatever patch you're in, regardless of what it was saved, of course. Um, and holding the foot switches creates oscillation. So. <laughs> Not that way. In play mode, it'll create oscillation. Let me get back to something normal here. Again, it uh, holding the foot. Oh, even holding the reverb creates um, a reverb pad. Uh, it just extends the uh, decay of the reverb. So, yeah, that's just a little run through of this sucker. I really like it, and it's much smaller. Like you know, it's about two hands uh, wide. It's not that uh, big. I thought it was much bigger from when I looked at it before online. Um, I don't really notice a drop off in sound at all. I think it sounds really good. I think that their uh, firmware updating um, protocol kind of blows because you have to do it through five pin MIDI. So you need some sort of interface to get the firmware after you've downloaded it to interface. And I tried it through my keyboard connecting the uh, the uh, Ocean Machine to my keyboard. I tried connecting it to my um, my pedal interface, my um, Morningstar Engineering MC6. Um, that didn't work. Um, I heard some of the issues from the earlier firmware, and I think that this one probably is updated anyway, because um, I got this secondhand, um, and I think it sounds like what I had read about was fixed. So you want firmware 1.1 because they haven't done anything since then. And yeah, and it's stereo in, stereo out. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I assume because of the MIDI, it can take preset uh, a switching box. So there's a lot of cool things in here. The other thing I don't like about it, and this is indicative of all multi-effect boxes by one manufacturer is, Personally, if space wasn't an issue, I like my different flavors, you know, meaning I might like um, to have a couple of different types of delays um, for different purposes from different builders. Like, you know, I might want my jam pedals, uh, Delay Llama Extreme for tape and um, analog delay and I might want uh, maybe my boss for digital delay, my my um, my DD8 or, you know, and then I'd like to have a couple of different choices and reverbs. But it's a minor quibble again, because we're in this age where they're putting everything all in one box. And what I'm getting at is like, these are all more flavors, right? The hall's really good. The hall uh, the standards are just as good as anybody else's or pretty damn close. You may like one just slightly better than the other, but I kind of dig this. I could go with it. But 
personally, I like to have my different flavors. If, if pedal board space was not an issue, I'd like to have my different flavors and not all one flavor and one device. So that's my last minor quibble. But to be honest with you, for everything it is all in one shot, it's pretty damn awesome. I got to say, I, I didn't want to be impressed, but I am. And I got it for under 200 bucks uh, off of Reverb. So check it out. You might like it. All right.